Calamity Jane was an American frontierswoman whose name was often linked with the likes of Wild Bill Hickok. Many facts about her life are fabrications created from her own tall tales. Calamity Jane was born Martha Jane Canary on May 1, 1852 in Princeton, Missouri. Her father was a gambler, and little is known about her mother, Charlotte. Jane was the eldest of six children. She had two brothers and three sisters. In 1865, when Jane was 13, the family moved west by wagon train from Missouri to southwest Montana. Her mother caught pneumonia and died along the way. After arriving in Virginia City in the spring of 1866, her father, Robert, took his six children on to Salt Lake City. They arrived that summer, and just one year later, her father died. Starting at age 14, Jane took charge of her five younger siblings, loaded up their wagon once again, and took the family to the town of Piedmont in southwest Wyoming Territory. In Piedmont, Jane took whatever jobs she could find to provide for her family. She worked as a dishwasher, cook, waitress, dance hall girl, nurse, and ox team driver. In her book, she claimed to receive her famous nickname during the Indian Wars. She said, It was a time during this campaign, in 1872, that I was christened Calamity Jane on Goose Creek in Wyoming. She went out on a patrol and was ambushed during their return to the fort. She saved a Captain Egan after he received several gunshot wounds on his horse. After their return, she claimed he gave her that name. However, according to the Montana Anaconda Standard of April 1904, Army officials claimed that Calamity Jane never saw service in any capacity under either General Crook or General Miles. She never saw a lynching and never was in an Indian fight. She was simply a notorious character, dissolute and devilish, but possessed a generous streak which made her popular. A popular belief is that she instead acquired it as a result of her warnings to men that to offend her was to court calamity. It is certain, however, that she was known by that nickname by 1876, because the arrival of the Hickok wagon train was reported in Deadwood's newspaper, The Black Hills Pioneer, in July of 1876, with the headline, Calamity Jane Has Arrived. In 1874, she claimed she found work as a scout at Fort Russell. During that time, she also began her on and off employment as a prostitute at the Fort Laramie Three Mile Hog Ranch. She moved on to a rougher, mostly outdoor and adventurous life on the Great Plains. Another account from her autobiography is that her detachment was ordered to the Bighorn River under General Crook in 1875. She swam the Platte River and traveled 90 miles at top speed while wet and cold in order to deliver important dispatches. She became ill afterwards and spent a few weeks recuperating. She then rode to Fort Laramie and joined a wagon train headed north in July of 1876. The second part of her story is verified. She was at Fort Laramie in July of 1876, and she did join a wagon train that included Wild Bill Hickok. That was where she first met Hickok, contrary to her later claims, and that was how she happened to come to Deadwood. In 1876, Calamity Jane settled in the area of Deadwood, South Dakota. There she became friends with Dora Dufran, the Black Hills' leading madam, and was occasionally employed by her. 
Jane also claimed that following Hickok's death, she went after his murderer, Jack McCall, with a meat cleaver, since she had left her guns at her residence. Following McCall's execution for the crime, Jane continued living in Deadwood for some time, and at one point she helped save numerous passengers in an overland stagecoach by diverting several Plains Indians who were in pursuit of the vehicle. Stagecoach driver John Slaughter was killed during the pursuit, and Jane took over the reins and drove the stage on to its destination at Deadwood. In late 1876 or 1878, Jane nursed the victims of a smallpox epidemic in the Deadwood area. Several years later, in 1881, Jane bought a ranch west of Miles City, Montana, along the Yellowstone River. She kept an inn there. According to one version of her life, she later married Clinton Burke from Texas and moved to Boulder, Colorado, where she once again made an attempt in the inn business. In 1893, Calamity Jane started to appear in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show as a storyteller. She also participated in the 1901 Pan American Exposition. Her addiction to liquor was evident even in her younger years. For example, on June 10, 1876, she rented a horse and buggy in Cheyenne for a one-mile joyride to Fort Russell and back, but she was so drunk that she passed right by her destination without noticing and finally ended up about 90 miles away at Fort Laramie. Around 1903, Jane returned to the Black Hills, where brothel owner Madame Dora was still running her business. For the next few months, Jane earned her keep by cooking and doing the laundry for Dora's girls. In late July, Jane traveled by ore train to Terry, South Dakota a small mining village near Deadwood. It was reported that she had been drinking heavily while on board and had fallen ill. The conductor, S.G. Tillett, carried her off the train. A bartender secured a room for her at the Callaway Hotel and a physician was summoned. Jane's condition deteriorated quickly and she died at the hotel on Saturday, August 1st, 1903 from inflammation of the bowels and pneumonia. She was buried at Mount Moriah Cemetery, South Dakota, next to Bill Hickok. Four of the men who planned her funeral later stated that Hickok had absolutely no use for Jane while he was alive, so they decided to play a joke on him by burying her by his side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some value. Be sure to check the description for some cool links to other videos and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you.